So this is a raw data where the exact information is getting stored. Okay, let's move on to the SQLite databases. Normally, usually you will have an application. So I'm sitting in a browsing center. I'm accessing my gmail.com. So gmail.com is an application databases to store the data. So obviously we got this is the application. I got an Android application or something like that. So like okay, while clicking the next button, give all the information to the database file. And so I create I created the database, I inserted the data established between the SQLite and the Python. Okay, I got the table created. So I got the screen ready, Python with the Python. Insert into table and column names, and you got the values. Okay, and the values will be like from the text boxes, the value will be taken. Hi, so welcome to Wiki Digging Kashi Info Tech. Uh, like, uh, I'm talking about the SQLite, a yeah, powerful database programming. I'm going to talk about those things. And before that, I want to share you great news. Like, I have a lot of technological videos with me in my channel, Wiki Digi. If you're looking for any of my previous videos, yes, you can use my channel to learn it. And apart from that, as usual, dialogue. So, like, this is my YouTube channel, Wiki Techie. Like, if you didn't subscribe my channel, please subscribe it. We are providing lots and lots of technological content to you. Every week, three to four videos on technically with the 3D animation based training we are giving. And if you love it, please click the bell button and uh, like, uh, click the notification to get regular notification from us okay and apart from that if you're looking for any technological videos technological content and here is my technological tutorial at wikidiki.com slash tutorial you will learn lots and lots of technological content use it yes let's move on hi so like uh, this is on uh, sqlite we are going to discuss uh, what is sqlite sqlite is the most powerful lightweight databases in the market so SQLite is nothing but uh, so I want to create a mobile app to store the data in the mobile apps kind of areas uh, we need a SQLite kind of a simple database so here is on the basic intro on the application on the database I'm going to talk about so if you talk about the basic intro of the of the databases uh, we should know how the database is created you got the server so Oracle or a SQL server where it is a box where it the data will get stored okay so the the server will have lots and lots of databases the databases is a box where it got lots and lots of tables in it for example it's college database a student database you got your staff database or something like that these databases will have lots and lots of tables in it the tables will have the raw data it is nothing but your rows and columns so that is how your database structure is so this is a raw data where the exact information is getting stored Okay, let's move on to the SQLite databases. Normally, usually you will have an application. So I'm sitting in a browsing center. I'm accessing my gmail.com. So gmail.com is an application. Via the gmail.com application, I'm able to access a database to take my inbox. Send my username and password and take my inbox. So the application will be there and you got the database server. So gmail will have the gmail.com application. You got a gmail database. So obviously, this is a typical example where the salesperson will be accessing via the website to the database server and this server will have the databases in it and over here you got the financial analyst you got the like like they got the website and they got the dedicated database servers and they got the database if this is how the functionality is okay so generally this is how an application works and for ex for uh, like uh, for instance in SQLite, uh, SQLite is a lightweight database. As I told you, it's just a file. No need of building a server, putting, creating a database, and creating the tables and everything. Just a file where I can store all the data, as in the format of the table. And SQL is the language through which I'm able to extract it. Just an application with a connector connect to your database file. So this is how your SQLite database are. Now let's talk about how SQLite works. So you got an application. So predominantly SQLite is very much useful in Android apps, Android or mobile related apps, because storing it in a 
like we like a mobile mobile is really simple and we need a small database to store into the mobile so we need a simplified a simplified like a non affectable databases to store the data so obviously we got this is application i got an android application or something like that so like uh, while clicking the next button give all the information automatically the data will get stored in this sql database and like uh, from sql database i'm able to extract all the data here storing the data here and extracting the data here is very simple with the sqlite that's how your sqlite works now let's talk about the next area like um, specifically telling you like how this sqlite works so over here here is the application the application you'll have a connector a database connector a database is connector is nothing but uh, between this application database we need some specific dedicated person and here is a server it can be if it is a sqlite no server process and all directly you can store it in database so it is generally like you don't have this server process <coughs> server process in case of sqlite a normal oracle or something like that we will have the server process built okay so here is the one i'm trying to tell you like how the sqlite works or integrate with interact with the python so python is an application so using this python application i'm writing a sqlite operation and python mod the sqlite tree is one of the python module which will take care of executing the queries and everything in this sqlite database and automatically like you're fetching the results executing the query everything will be done with the sqlite tree so this is one of the python module so you got a lot of modules kind of a library okay so automatically the results will be like taken back by python and you can able to display here yeah. okay see i got a like a, a select star from table fetching the data fetching the data from the database sql light so in the case like a, um, application is here my database is the and there is an intermediate module between the application and the database okay sending the query to the application module python module from there it will go to the database and from there it will press the data and it will give it back so this is how the overall functionality works yes let's move on to the next area that is your uh, like a yeah, like you, I'm, I'm going to talk about in detail about the SQLite. So obviously you got the DB adapter. So you got the mobile application or your Python module or something like that. You'll have something right. So and you got a DB adapter kind of, which will have the SQL database functionalities like insert, delete, update, query. So like I'm going to talk about the application involving like a mobile apps. If it is an Android app or an iOS or something like that, they will be connecting to the databases to extract the data via this DB adapter. Okay, so DB adapter will have like a creating the functionality, creating the connection, creating the connection or upgrading the databases or something like that can be achieved via the SQLite open helper. And getting the data get a writable database get readable database information about the databases hey i want to write it whether you are eligible to write i want to read it whether this guy is giving option to me to read the databases or tables or something like that so your database helper is there get a writable databases get a readable databases can be done with this database helper and you got the SQLite database functionality, a default one, which will take care of insert, delete, update, or something like that. So your create statement, truncate, or something like that. And you got the cursor, which is really important. This is used for selecting the data, for selecting the data. And you select star from student. Automatically, this cursor will take care of, uh, like uh, moving to the, it's kind of for statement. So first data, take it. Second data, take it. Third data, take it. Fourth data, take it. Fifth data, take it. That is how, that's the, that's it. that is how your cursor will work. Navigating the data and fetching all the information and give it back to the mobile app. This is how your SQLite works with the Android or mobile application. Now let's move on to the practical part. Like I'm going to teach you like how to create this SQLite databases. It is going to be the very toughest part. Are you, are you ready to listen it? Yes. Let's move on here. Like, uh, yes, uh, I'm going to create a database now. 
So over here, look at this is my folder. We I'm going to create a project. So notepad. Oh, this is the notepad here. So this is a path here. File save as. And now look, I'm going to go to this path. Oh, fantastic. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to create a database for you. Medicine dot db all files selected. So medicine dot db over here. We got all files here. And clicking the save button. <laughs> It will create the database for you. So this is the database file which is created. It is how this is how your database file and database is created. Okay, your database is ready now. This is a SQL database. <laughs> a very simple thing to create a SQL database. Now, like uh, like uh, we'll have we have to write a coding part to insert the data into the database file. Considering I create I created the database, I inserted the data. Now it's time for me to access the databases. So let's move on to how to access the databases. Okay, now this is the like a URL sqlite-online.com. So using sqlite-online.com, so I'm able to like a store, like a extract the extract the like a data from the databases. sqlite-online.com. Okay, now open database and I need to go to this database file db file where is it medicine.db that's really awesome on clicking open button automatically you are able to see there are two tables available in this SQL database user table and user table one which I created using application just leave it so I'm trying to teach you like once the SQL database is created how you are going to access the tables creating the database I teach you in creating the table and inserting the data I didn't teach you just like that is part of my session don't worry in future I can I can talk about those stuffs so like I'm showing like after creating the tables inside the database I'm trying to show you like how the tables are created you got user table how to extract the data so you are able to see you got user table user table one and here is a query I'm trying to write the link start from user table one wink or something like that this is how like uh, your yeah, database can be created and uh, the database can be accessed okay this is one thing which i'm trying to show you via online how to access sqlite and you can have some sqlite uh, uh, manager kind of uh, software is there to like access the databases in sqlite okay anyway so i'm trying to show you the medicine.db that's really awesome this is the one so i'm creating open automatically whatever tables is there it will be displayed here in the left side okay now it's time for me to talk about uh, how this sqlite is going to be connecting with the python before that like uh, yeah overall picture about sqlite sqlite small file it's really portable i can carry it easily i can write the data very easily without uh, like without any complication code a yeah, simple code and finally it is very easy i can take it anywhere i want so easy to exist just a file i can put it in pen drive i can take it that's where the sqlite is so your yeah, big data in a very little package that is how sqlite is like it's time for me to talk about sqlite with python okay so like uh, who is using sqlite the apple company the big jargon companies like the apple dropbox google adobe and apart from that you got your mozilla firefox and companies and skype these are the biggest companies and there are lots of companies they are using sqlite as the main databases okay before going ahead with my session like i want to share you great news if you want to learn sql interview question i want to learn sql interview questions so what are the questions they will ask in the interview you can go to this link so kashuinfotech.com slash oracle iphone training iphone in iphone chennai okay just go to this link you are able to see the sql queries over there you can click that one you can learn whatever queries you are taking everything is loaded in this particular video use this channel and learn as much as you can and apart from this like you just scroll down scroll down to the bottom scroll down scroll down scroll down so i'm going to change all these pages and everything so we are to, we are doing a lot of designs now you can see the oracle interview questions it's not oracle interview questions we have a lot of sql interview questions so a lot of sql related subs are there you can use it and oracle also we loaded a lot of questions so like i just go to this link and i'll put it in the description and also in the like a first comment just go to this link kashyavinfrag.com slash oracle iphone training iphone in chennai 
You can just go there and you can learn as much as you can. Okay, like yeah, most of the people used to ask me, sir, do you have any courses? The, our company, Kashi Infotech, we are providing 3D animated based technological courses to the students and to the professionals. Okay, so our training is mostly on 3D, 100% practical training. And uh, here is the one, ethical hacking, Python, machine learning, and data science, Java, Android, web designing, cloud, DevOps, big data, and you got your mechanical and 3D designs, uh, electrical, electronics, aeronautical, automobile, for all the departments. We are providing technological trainings with a recognized certificate. Okay, the our languages is in English and also in Tamil version. We are providing this particular session. So everything is 3D based 100% practically. We are teaching you the program days 20 to 3rd, like a 10 days and 20 days programs are there. The registration link is given here. And apart from this, recently I launched yeah, like a four technological course content, ethical hacking, Python, machine learning and data science. Here is the contact numbers. If you love it, please contact me. We got a reduced cost for you people. You may ask me, sir, what is your company? What you people are doing? So I'm giving career guidance and job guidance to the student, to the professionals. So many people, they want to shift their career. They are not, they, are like, they got a break. They couldn't get a job for freshers and everything. They don't have a job. Don't worry, I'm guiding you. So I'm a current student, so what I have to learn? I'll guide you for that. Apart from that, we are providing internships, courses and in-plant training for the people. And we are guiding the projects, mini projects and finally projects. And we got software development and mobile app development with the website creations also. So we are doing lots, lots of stuff. And apart from that, like uh, many people used to ask me a question. So like, uh, I didn't get a job, sir. I got a break, sir. What can I do? I can help you. The only shortcut to go for a job is internships. So this is one of the very important uh, one. Inter go for internship, you'll get job. If you're looking for internship, just come back. I'll teach you. I'll make you to enter the job. Okay. Anyway, like, uh, yes, let's move on to the practical part. Establish between the SQLite and the Python. Okay. I got the table created. So I got the screen ready. Python with the Python. Insert into table and column names. And you got the values. Okay. And the values will be like from the text boxes. The value will be taken. Okay, anyway, like you learned as much as like on SQLite and the basic SQL programming. So here is my SQL, MySQL, and we got Oracle, SQL Server, technological training. If you're looking for any kind of trainings, internships, courses, or projects, you just contact us. Here's a contact number, WhatsApp number is given. Apart from that, here is a course link. I'll put in the description. Water help you want? Please contact us. We are ready to help you. Our company, Kashi and we are providing online internships and direct internships and courses. If you're looking for any kind of support, yes, you can contact me. I request you people to share this particular video to your friends and everyone and help us to spread the good information to everyone. And this is the time for me to say a goodbye. So thank you. Thanks for watching this video. And apart from that, here is the technological sessions. Now I'm conducting classes. So if you're looking for any kind of things, Please contact me. Thank you.